What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a few weeks ago, Kato reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out a few of their products. Now, I'm not one to turn down new tools, so I got one of their helping hand units as well as their new solder fume extractor. As you can see here, it's a good size with an adjustable hood and a simple knob that turns it on and controls the speed. Inside is a filter, and it comes with a spare as well, and a large ducted fan that's doing all the heavy lifting. On the back is actually the same DC jack that I use in just about every pedal build. And here you can see the exhaust vent too, and it runs off of the included 12 volt DC supply. I really like the adjustable tube and hood that allows you a lot of flexibility, whether you're soldering a uh, large PCB panel or even inside of an enclosure. Okay, now let's take a look at the helping hand rig. It's got a hefty metal bottom plate with the alligator clip arms on uh, heavy duty magnets. And this thing is built like a tank and the magnets are strong enough not to unexpectedly move on you but are still fairly easy to move around as needed. Then the clips come with uh, these rubber pads so you don't scratch up what you're working on, which is a nice touch. Now let's find something to solder and give both of these Kato tools a test run. I'm running the fume extractor only about a third of the way and you can see how the fumes go straight into the extractor and away from my face. Really wish I had this back when I was building that uh, that first soil slinger prototype. <laughs> it's like I'm vaping solder fumes. Overall, I'm really happy with this setup, and if you're in need of a fume extractor, I really like this one. If you're interested in these or any of Kato's other products, check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and happy soldering.